Well, it's arguably one of the most controversial measures during his short time in office. Today, Governor Brian Kemp signed what's been dubbed the heartbeat bill into law. Now, the legislation bans most abortions in Georgia after a fetal heartbeat is detected, which is at around six weeks of pregnancy. Well, Fox 5's Claire Sims has followed this bill from the beginning. She joins us live now from the state capitol. And Claire, opponents say this is far from a done deal. Yes, and a civil and reproductive rights groups were out here on the state capitol steps today pledging to take their fight to court. But those behind the heartbeat bill believe that it will pass legal muster. Through the Life Act, we will allow precious babies to grow up and realize their full God-given potential. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp puts his signature on one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the country. The Life Act, also known as the Heartbeat Bill, will ban most abortions in Georgia after six weeks gestation. As the governor and supporters celebrate inside the Capitol. I have one message for Governor Kemp. We will see you, sir, in court. A coalition of activists and women's rights groups gathers outside the Gold Dome. The ACLU of Georgia says they are already working on a legal challenge to what they believe is an unconstitutional assault on women. Access to abortion is health care. It is a matter of public health. And all elected officials should be held accountable to the needs of voters and ensure access to reproductive health care. Several states have enacted similar heartbeat bills and courts have blocked or struck them down. But the bill's primary sponsor, Representative Ed Setzler, believes the Georgia measure is different because it establishes personhood and does not only restrict abortion, but also provides for pre-birth child support and tax benefits. I think the people of Georgia, once the shrill attacks of the opponents uh, sort of fade in the background. I think the common sense of Georgians will kick in and, and recognize that the House Bill 41 is a common sense measure that we can all be proud of. This law is set to go into effect on January 1st, 2020. That is if it is not tied up in court. We are live at the state capitol. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. Claire, thanks.